Hi, it's me, Indiana Jones. I know this is weird, but I think that lately you guys have been seeing more of me and less of what I'm actually doing. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna make like a little miniature apothecary kind of like spell room. But I don't know, maybe you can still see it if I move it up a little bit. What do you say? Let's, let's adjust the camera just a little bit. Excuse my arms there. Let's see. Is that okay? Is that still close enough so you can see? Oh, there you go. You can still see me. You can still see my craft. Maybe if I had a lower chair. But there you can, you don't need to see the top of my head. It's a mess anyway, so. Hi guys, it's me, Indiana Jones. And I saw these beautiful little Dollar Tree boxes. And I thought, hmm, what can I make with this? And I thought, wouldn't it be cute to have a whole like Halloween scene encased in one of these little boxes? So let's see what I can do. Let's see if I can keep it within 20 minutes. <laughs> That's funny. That's so funny. So what are you gonna need? A little bit of everything. Get the box, get any kind of miniatures you have. Now the inside of the box is just plain black, but I kind of covered it because I just wanted it to have like a little wallpapery kind of look like you would have if you were, you know, you went to like a sorceress's, sorceress's house? Sorceress. And I'm gonna put a little bit of trim here because it didn't, I didn't do it right. So let's see if I can see what you're, what you're saying. If there's anybody saying anything out there, let's see. Let me just set up so I can see the video here. And I'm sorry, I need to drink. Hey, Courtney, how are you doing, babe? How's everything going? I can actually see what you guys are saying on my phone, so I might not need the computer at all. So you know what? I'm going to take the computer down because it's kind of in my way. I put it in my cauldron back right here. Yes, I have a cauldron back there, right there. So, all right, let's get started. So I'm just going to put the, um, I'm just going to put the trim real quick. So what I did was I decoupaged inside, so this is a book, decoupaged inside. And I'm just going to put a little trim because I just noticed it. And where's my scissors? Oh my gosh, I'm always so unprepared. Excuse me, guys. I. What was that? Did somebody beep? What happened? Hold on. I was decoupaging, I left my scissors over here. All right, I'm back. Sorry about that. Sorry. All right, so I'm just gonna cut the trim. And um, I got, most of the stuff I got was at the Dollar Tree. I'm doing this trim because it was bothering me. It's not that you have to do it first. It's just, it was annoying me. So I was like, I'm gonna do this before it keeps bothering me because I was doing it quickly and I didn't do it right. And surprise, right? Because I'm always trying to do things quickly. And like last time that I made my sign backwards. That was funny. That was very funny. All right, there we go. Now I feel better. I don't know why, it just made me feel better. All right, so let's see what I got. Let's go trick or treating. Ha ha, trick or treat. So what I have here, one of the first things that we have to get at the Dollar Tree, they have this little doll furniture. Look how cute. So you're gonna put this in here. Let's see, it like looks too white, like Right, it just looks too white. So I'm going to stain the furniture the same way we would just stain natural furniture, like normal adult size, sized furniture. So let me get one of these. And the way you would stain it actually is you would use a little bit of decoupage and a little bit of brown. Um, let's use, let's use this like a uh, darker brown. A little bit of black. Courtney, how are things going, honey? Ooh, that's a little more black than I expected, but oh well. Let's just mix it in. Now remember, it's gonna look a little lighter. And I'm gonna put a little black in here too because I want it to look, you know, a little spooky. All right, so let me turn this around. So first we're gonna do is the furniture. I thought this would be cool for like a little witch's table. And again, I'm throwing that in the cauldron. <laughs> so, again, this is like staining this kind of. 
well, not so much staining, but coloring it. But because we're like mixing it with Mod Podge, so that's the top. Let's do the front. I know this isn't the most exciting thing, but you know, it's gotta be done. I should have done it before. But I just wanted you to see what it looks like when you get it from the Dollar Tree. I don't wanna skip too many steps. And again, because this is Halloween, hi, I'm great, just organizing baby stuff. Oh my gosh, hey, but how far along are you, Courtney? I knew you were having a baby, but I forgot how far, how far along are you? How exciting. Did you have a baby moon? Did you go on a trip before you have the baby? Remember to do that. I suggest every couple do that because once you have a baby, that's it. It's not that life is over, it's just life changes. Life changes. And I don't know if you guys saw on my Facebook page, if anybody on here watches my Facebook page, but I was recently interviewed on a podcast and it was a gentleman called um, Dan, he's Dan, and he happened to be a Florida native, but he didn't find me because he was from Florida. It was um, through Instagram. So just do the legs. I'm trying to do this real quick. Quick and messy, just like I am. Quick and messy. Why do I do the back? Because you're not going to see the back. And remember, you want this to look aged, like this is like a witch's house or a sorceress's house or something. I didn't want everything to look like super black. That's why I made, because the interior of this was black and I didn't want it to look like super, super black because and then it's like, mm, I don't know, it's just, you won't be able to see anything. One of the things I couldn't find, not that I couldn't find it, I, I can't find, I bought it for this and I can't find it, are those little skeletons because I, thought, I thought it would be so cool to have like a little skull on this table. I am messing up my nails. Is this better for you people? Can you see exactly what I'm doing? I think last time it was just too far away. Somebody else is on there. Who's on, who's watching me? Who's on there watching me? I always feel like... Oh, and I forgot to close the door. So you're gonna hear my son probably saying explicit, expli, expletives, expletives? Hey, Courtney. Hey, the, oh my gosh, how you doing? The best things is watching me. Oh my goodness, I love it, guys. Please check out this gentleman's channel. I love his channel. I watch it all the time because he goes shopping when I can't. So he goes to all the stores and checks out all the cool Halloween stuff. And then he also does, um, which I love, thrifting. And he has like the ugly, I've been dying to send him like ugly pumpkin pictures. And I always forget when I'm in this, you know, I'm always rushing like I am right now. So yeah, this is gonna be like a miniature, like witch's lair kind of thing. All right. Is that good? All right. I hope I have the rest of the stuff that I have in here. Now I'm going to take a little bit of the gold. I know, I know it's a witch's house. Well, I still wanted it to have a little bit of, you know, you know, a little bit of metallic here on the little, little handles here. I know I'm being ridiculous. I know just a little bit. All right. So that's cool. I'm going to put a little bit of light brown too because it came out a little too dark, a little darker than I expected. Oop, I cannot control this splurge of this stuff. And that way, look, see it looks like real wood. I don't want to cover up what I just did, but I probably will. Hey, what are we, what, what challenge am I going to make you do? You need to do something, I need to do something piratey for the best channel there, the best Halloween channel that I love so much. Um, I gotta come up with something for you to do for your, he, he has the most amazing displays. I'm gonna tag him on this video, cause he really does, he has the most amazing displays. And I wish my house was big enough to just store half of the stuff that he has. All right, that's good, it looks aged and antique here. All right. And again, a little bit of the gold on the doodads here. Doodads. Ah, looking good. Thanks for the shout. Yes. Oh, 
I'm not doing a video on it yet. Oh, okay. Gosh, I can't wait to see that. Ooh, he's doing a fountain, a, a pirate. So he's doing a pirate theme this year. He does different themes. It is so cool to just like, just talk to other, you know, fellow Halloween enthusiasts. And he's definitely one of them. I love the stuff that he puts on there. I just love watching, you know, and he puts, I mean, he, I don't know. I don't, I don't know how you have the time. I don't know how you have the time, you know, to, to like video and edit. I, I don't have the time for that. I don't even have editing software. All right. So I thought it would be cool to have put a little rug before I put down that table. So let's get some of this. What is this called? What is this called? What is this burlap? It's red burlap. And I thought, oh, it'd be cool for like a little rug underneath the table. Just to, just to give some, you know, everything is just a little bit of detail. So I can't see what I'm doing behind the ah. <laughs> I found this little Tabasco sauce bottle, so I thought that would be cute. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off like a couple of the see see that? So I'm making fringe. I'm making like little tassels or whatever. And then over here on the side. And over here. There we go. And then you see that? I'm gonna put it in there. So it looks like a little rug. It's not a big deal, but I thought it would be a cute touch before I put the table down. And I'm just schmutzing some glue in there. I was bored. I decided this is what I wanted to do today. Like people ask me, where do you come up with your ideas? I don't know. I see things and I'm like, oh, that would be so cute. Like I like this box, but I thought, what am I gonna put in here? I thought it'd be fun to have like a little pop out, like a little story. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna do a little schmutzing. I like calling it schmutzing. I don't know what else to call it. Schmutzing, people, schmutzing. You know, like trying to age things because it's like too perfect. So dry the brush off a little bit. Schmutzing. I like doing it with a larger brush, but you know, what have you. Just a little schmutzing. Cause it's supposed to be, it's supposed to be spooky. It's a witch's place, you know? I'm not saying witches are dirty. I'm just saying, you know, the wallpaper's a little aged, what have you. Let's schmutz the rug a little, there we go. Schmutzing the rug. All right, not schmutzing. Now let's glue the table in. Now I'm gonna put the, ah. You should wait until the table dries, but I'm just, I'm gonna just do it. There you go. You see that? So I'm gonna put it right against the back wall. See, I did my nails and now I'm messing them up because that's what I do. I do my own nails and then I mess them up so I have paint the rest of the week at work. By the way, I hope you guys caught me helping out with the Bahamas hurricane relief. That's what I did basically most of the weekend and I was more than happy and blessed to do that. There you go. I got the little table in there. I gotta schmutz this this little lacy thing I put here on the edge. I burned myself. Yay! And he burned herself. I got a third person on there. I have a third person watching me. I'm sorry if I'm boring, but this is what we're doing. Little miniatures. Let me do a little schmutzing up here. Schmutz, 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 schmutz. schmutz. I like the schmutzing. Okay. Just checking in the yeah. Sometimes it's better to just paint this once it's in here. That's my paintbrush, and I'm just gonna do this. Oh, look at that! There we go. That's easier to do than to brushing it. See what I'm doing? I'm just putting a little bit, and I screwed that up. That's okay. I'm gonna fix that. All right, that's that. Then I thought, let's see if I want to put this here. Where would you put a cauldron? You put it on the floor, right? You put a cauldron on the floor. Tell me, if you were a witch, where would you put the cauldron? I guess we could put it, we could put it on the table. We could put it on the table. You know what, I'm just gonna make the cauldron and then afterwards we'll decide. So, 
And this little spell book, I always do that with my head. This little spell book, I have like little doodads. You need little doodads for this. Anything from like marbles, I have like old um, bottles here of stuff. You know these little, these little red things that I took off, I can still use that. I have a little, a little, looks like a little, what is this called? Bird cage, okay. Bird cage, a spoon. It's just little, little things that I've had. So here, I'm gonna make, So I got this and I thought, oh, how cool for like a little cauldron or like, you see that? Like, oh, hey, too heavy for a witch to lug up on the table. Greetings to all in the chat. Thank you so much. Hey, thank you so much, Ace Space. Thank you. So I'm just gonna make a little cauldron. So I got all these little twigs to put around the cauldron. Does that make sense? I don't know. Does it matter? Doesn't matter. All right, so let's just, glue on some twigs. But you know what I'm gonna do first? I'm gonna get a little bit of burlap. Hi, burned myself again. I'm gonna get a little bit of burlap to cover that, because it's like, that's gonna take a long time to put all those little twigs. And I'll cut that in half. And then I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna do that. So it looks like, um, and now I can just put the twigs on top of that. I am a messy crafter. If you guys haven't learned that by now, I'm not one of these cutesy little crafters. Nah, I just like splotch things together. Splotching. I use words like splotching. Anyway. Ah. All right. That looks kind of cool. And then we can put some twigs on the outside, like that. And that'll help me hold the twigs. Get over there. That'll help me hold the twigs now. And, and then I have two options for a cauldron. And one's a Barbie doll option, so I don't know if that's gonna work too well. Just put twigs around. So I just got a tea light in black. I put the, um, what is this called? Burlap around it. And then I'm just like gluing like little twigs, just to give you a general idea of what I have in mind. I'm not gonna go around the whole thing. I'm not gonna glue it down specifically right now. And then I had this little thing that I was gonna put there. I don't know if you can see that. Like, it looks like it's like a little, I don't know if it looks like a cauldron per se, but I just wanna be able to see this. It's a little light. See how you can see it through the twigs? Or I can paint this to make it look like a cauldron. I think that looks better. And you can still see the light. You can still see the light through the twigs underneath. So it looks like it's on a fire. Let me put some more twigs. Does that look good? Any comments? Any any idea what I'm doing? <laughs> Does anybody have idea? Because I have no idea what I'm doing. I tell you that. Does it help to have a little light on to give you an idea? So I saw this at, at the dollar store also. They had like these little bowls for like Barbie. And I said, oh, that would be so cute. You know, like, you know, if I made a miniature little witch's house. So I thought this would be cute to like even have on my desk at work, you know, as the Halloween enthusiast that I am. Any comments out there? How's everybody else doing out there? How was your weekend? No comments. Five people, hey, five people and two, two likes. Thank you guys, thank you for liking me. Your love makes makes me happy. Your liking me makes me happy, so thank you. Um, another YouTuber that I love to watch is Halloween Happy. Oh wait, I missed I missed comments. Somebody said comments and I, I didn't I missed the comments. I'm sorry. I was looking down. Does this view help you to see what I'm doing better? Than you know, seeing 
the fullness of me. You don't see the top of my head, but at least you can see what I'm doing, right? I need, ah, ah, <laughs> oh, yes, that looks great. Hello, hey, Kay. Yes, this view is great. Ah, oh, I burned my fails. Real bad. I should have like ice here. I think I'm part masochist because I, I don't mind. I mean, I make a big deal when I get burned, but that looks so cute. Look at that. That looks so cute. And I can't see because my mother's trying to call me. There we go. Look at that. That does really look cute. Okay. Just a few more branches just for me to be happy. All right. And then we'll paint the cauldron with the same brown that we have here. Just splush some brown on here real quick. Uh, it's not working very well, but oh well. Maybe I should have spray painted this. Well, you get the general idea. I'll take this out and spray paint it. Yeah, looks good. Looks good enough. So there you go. So you can either use this and make it look like a lab. This would make it. So what I used here, just so you know, is food coloring. And um, on anything plastic or glass, food coloring and either glue or Mod Podge, and it'll dry clear. You see that? It dries see-through, so it's not opaque, whereas this is eventually going to be opaque. And then that's gonna go, look at that. Look how cute that's going to look. You see the little flame in, in there? There you go, you see the little flame? That's gonna look really cute. Okay, cool, all right, so that's done. Now, let's go back here. What's another lighting element that I wanna add to this? is oh where is it straws you're like what straws just wait wait a minute wait a minute so i'm going to make that little lighting element first so that these are going to be candles yes this view is great okay hello i'm going to make little and i'm sorry if you hear the fan but it's like hot. It's like so hot here in Miami. I don't know how. That was not expected. All right, there we go. Gotta hold both sides. This one's too long. All right. So, lighting element number two. And I'm already going on 22 minutes and I wanna finish. I want to finish, but at least you'll get the, the general idea. Okay, so this has one, two, three, four, five lights. Okay, so this, and my mother keeps calling me. <laughs> um, so this is one of those fairy light sets that you get at the dollar store. So what I'm going to do is put this through here like that. See that? And I'm going to paint the outside white. And you're like, well, how is it going to hold? I'm going to put a little bit of glue. You see that? And if it drips, it doesn't matter because it's going to look like a candle. Look at that. I keep losing my little candles. They keep falling off. No, no. I think I have enough here. So you see that? So now we're just going to repeat that. For all the little candles we want to make. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant. I say so myself. Hey Nelly, how are you doing? So here we go again. Let's do this again. It's repetitive, but it's fun. Let's see. I, I did a tall one. Let me do a short one. So you can make your candles any size you want. Just so you can see what I'm doing. Da -da -da, look at all. <laughs> Gosh, I'm such a mess. I am such a mess. I am the messy crafter. And you just put a little dot of glue, but it doesn't matter if it drops over because what is it going to look like? Like melting wax. See that? Like melting wax. You put another little dollop. And try not to use high, high temp because you don't want to melt the... You see that? You can make like a little candelabra like this. I'm just going to make like little candles on the table 
and on like shelves and stuff like that. I thought that would be cute. And I'm sorry if I'm taking too much time doing this. Here's a nice tall one. Uh, and you just gotta hold it and wait. Just make sure you fill the, the, the cavity of the of the um, straw. I haven't seen anybody do this before. Unless it's like miniature, people that work in miniatures. I don't work in miniatures. So I, I don't know if this is a common thing and I just think I'm brilliant. But I'm going to think I'm brilliant anyway. I have a right. Why not? Nope. Yeah, I can do it that way too. the light in first, but that's okay. And then this last one. Should I make a short one? All right. I wanted to make sure I got all the little candles in. And because it's wired, you know, it's cool because you can move it around however you want. You can position it however you want now. I just, I love this little idea of a miniature. A little diorama. A witch's diorama. That's what we're making. So there you go with the candles. Then the, I'm going to let that dry. But the next thing I would do, let me just do it real quick. You didn't see me do this. <laughs> just, I, don't, I can't find my paper towels. I'm just gonna open this and let's get this tall one so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. My mother is sending me text messages again. Dinner time, it's dinner again with my mother. I love my mother, so cute. And so you can paint the candles white or black and I could do a mix. And then I'm just painting just to cover the little stripes. Or you can get, you know what, you can get the paper, the paper, um, that would have been better. The paper, I can't speak anymore. The paper tape, paper, paper, <sighs> straws, paper straws. I just got the plastic ones, so. And that's it. I'm just showing you, like, how to do it. But see how cute that is? Look. You would never know that's a straw. Once you cover all the little, all the and all the evidence, and you can just take this stuff off, and that's it. And you can paint the straw before you put it on, you know, and the lights on. But you know, I work backwards, whatever. All right, so those are the lights. So I'll put those in later. Now, what else do we need? We need a, a broom for this witch. I thought a broom would be nice, like just like hanging there. Let me just break it down. This a little more, a little broom right there on the side. So we'll put a cauldron over there, the broom over here. And what I'm going to use for the broom is just a little bit of this. I, you could use raffia, you could use branches. I thought this would be the easiest thing. So again, you just pull off a whole bunch. There you go. I mean, you can see me. Hey, your ability to find crafty uses for absolutely anything is adorable. Oh, thank you. Okay. I love this. I love doing these little things, the, the little miniature things. I was trying to think, what am I going to do? What am I going to do? I have a great idea for a Hocus Pocus wreath. That's the next thing coming down the pike because I've been watching Hocus Pocus like crazy. And I love Hocus Pocus and we all love Hocus Pocus. So here's, and this, I'm just showing you how to make miniature things because I'm going to use these, these techniques for my Hocus Pocus thing too. So. So let's glue. Uh, 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 and not have it burn me. How do I do this and not have it burn me? And you can use these same techniques for like anything miniaturized that you want to have anywhere in your house this Halloween. There you go. 
I think this is the easiest way to make a broom than, you know, to get the raffia and cut it out and da 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 You know what I mean? Yes, you do. I know you do. I love all my Halloween friends out there. I love when people post things on Facebook and tag me because they know how much I love Halloween. There you go. There's your little witch's broom. And you can, you know, you can cut it or fix it however you want. I can, like, there you go. I don't know why I ripped it off. There we go. Okay. I'm just trying to make it, like, more scraggly. I just, you know, cut it a little more scraggly. And again, all the paints I have are from where? Plaid products. Why? Because I'm a Plaid ambassador. I'm more than happy to support Plaid because... Yeah, so they gave me free paint, but I've been using their paints forever and ever and ever and ever. And just the fact that they have acknowledged me as an influencer, you know, it just makes everything better. Oh, you know what? I have a garbage can under here now. I can't just throw things on the floor. So, okay, let's, you can put the broom here. See how cute that's looking. Let's make, um, look at this. Look at this, how cute this is going to be. So this is going to be, so I got a cork. A baby cork and this is gonna be like um oh what am I trying to say uh what is that um crystal ball gosh what is wrong with me I have issues talking that's strange for me they had this podcast we had a, a two-hour podcast it was crazy I'm like who's gonna listen to me for two hours I don't know I don't even listen to myself for two hours we're at uh, 31 minutes oh I'm trying to get fast 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 all right, so I'm just gonna take the little crystal ball. I'm gonna put it right on top of here. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit. And then, whoop, look how cute. It's a little crystal ball in a stand. And my mom keeps calling me. <sighs> but see how dark it is in there? It's nice to put like a little lighting element in there. So let's put the crystal ball in this corner over here. Yeah, honey. Tell Abuela that I'll be ready in half an hour. Wait, what? Can you text Abuela and tell her we'll be ready for dinner in half an hour? Where are we going to eat? Where do you want to eat? I'm on video. Oh. And there you go. There's your little... Look at that, how cute. Now, oh, we need a book. We need a spell book. Here's, so what I did is I got one of these. Um, I have these little, um, where are they? Okay, I don't know where they are. But I had these little um, playing cards, and then I just took a book, book, and I just like cut out the, you know, remember that I cut out the pages last week? Hi, Vintage Spider, how you doing? So uh, there's my book, and I'm just going to paint it. Let's paint it orange so not everything's black. It doesn't have to be bright orange, or, you know, I'm gonna schmutz, schmutz it. I don't really paint, I just schmutz things. And then a little bit of orange, just to have a little bit of, there we go. So there's the spell book. Da, da, da. Oh, I should have had it open, but that's okay. And we don't have to, we don't have to paint the back of it because you're not gonna, you're not gonna see that. You're gonna see that. Then let's see. Where shall we put the book like that? It should say spells. I can write spells on it later with a with a marker. I'll just put it on the table for now. I'll just set it on the table. And then I have these lovely little things here. Oh, you know what I need? I need let's make a shelf. Let's make a shelf. Shall we? So there's two things you can do. There's these wood shop things that you can get at the Dollar Tree, and it's like wooden things. Obviously, wooden things. Or you can get these like, what are these called? Jenga towers. Um, but it's like all wood. Look how cute these are. Um, so let's open the Jenga towers, and let's make a shelf. I'm just giving you different ideas of what you can do. Now I don't know if this is going to be too thick for a shelf. Ah. You see? 
Or you can use the dark one. We can go for the dark one. Let's go for the dark one. Or you can use this thing. See what they got in here. Yes, I know I have a garbage can, but ugh, who has time? Where are my scissors? In my hand. That's where my scissors are. Oh my lord. Or we can use that. Or you can use that. Or you can use that. I'll use the, I'll use the little shelf. And we can use this and put it on the little shelf. Or we can put like little little spell things. So we can put like, we can put the shelf right there. Right there above the crystal ball. And there's a book. And you can put like more books on there. But let's put, um, we can, let's see, will it fit in there? I should have measured it first. Didn't measure it. So I can move this down a little bit. So I know it's only 2D, but. I'm gonna use this little charm that I had that looks like a. I'm gonna leave it. Well, let's just schmutz, schmutz it a little. Because we don't want it perfect. It's like too white. There we go. See? Little schmutz. Little schmutz never hurt anybody. And then I could put this on there. Can you see it? Or you can put the candles on there or what have you. Um, let me look for, I have these little things. Like this, I could just use it like this because this is dried out. And I could just put like ribbon around it or anything and just, you know what, I'm gonna put that right on top there. I like that, like a little potions bottle. And I'm gonna put a skull in here as well, but you get the general idea. And then where's my little cauldron? Here's my cauldron. We'll put it here on the side. And there you go. It starts building up and you just start building up your little, your little, which is, see the little potion bottle in the back? And then you have a little Tabasco sauce. We could put that in here. Look at that. You can put a little wine bottle, whatever. So there you go. I know the Tabasco sauce looks real. Okay, I'll schmutz the Tabasco sauce so it doesn't look like Tabasco sauce. But I just, I love this little bottle and I said, oh, you know, I'm going to save it. There we go. There you go. Now it doesn't look so much like. There. Happy? Everybody happy? There you go. You just put that in there. And you can put a wand. You can make a little wand. That's a cute idea. I hadn't thought of that. Who, who gave me that idea? Somebody was thinking about that. It could be like, this could even be like a Harry Potter. Imagine, imagine making a little Harry Potter book. Oh my gosh, that would be so cute for your littles, your little peoples that love Harry Potter. Look at that, how cute it looks. And you can put, I can put frames. Oh, look, like I have, I have these stickers. You see these stickers? I can put frames in there. I can do all sorts of things. And um, they have little stickers that look like mason jars. I don't know if you want to put a mason jar, but if you want to put a mason jar, that's up to you. They have little frames. I'm just giving you ideas. I got to run now. Okay, no problem. I'm going to run too. Hi, Jackson. I'm going to run in a little bit too. Um, look at, I found these stickers. Look at the little spiders. So I'm going to put a spider in there. Just be imaginative. Floating candles. Yes! <gasps> the little candles I made could be floating. Oh my gosh. That is so true. So look, I have a little spider. A little spider. You can put a little spider in there. There you go. Cute little spider. There you go. So you just do whatever you want. And um, yeah, I got I gotta leave some space for my candles. Where are my candles? There are my candles. So yeah, I know these would be cute if you put them as floating candles. That would just be the bomb. Look at that. Do, 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 do. Pumpkin carving. Cool. You can do anything you want with this little room. Let me just, and I can just position the candles anywhere I want. I can put one up here. Look how cute this is going to look once I put the candles. And I'll hide the candles somehow. Like, look, look how cute this is going to look. 
Oh my gosh, it's just adorable. We can make a chandelier. Anyway, I'm really happy with how this is turning out. And it's cool because then you can say, look, tricks or treats. And then all of a sudden it's like, ta-da. But imagine if you did this for, you know, make a hocus pocus room. This could be my hocus pocus room, you know? Um, you can make it for Harry Potter. You can make it for anything you want um, and just celebrate Halloween in a tiny little way. All right. So anyway, guys, it's 40 minutes. I wanted to make this 30 minutes or less. Did my best. I'm off to dinner with my mom and my brother and my boys. And uh, I just wanted to wish you all a, a happy weekend and a, a great week ahead. God bless you all. And thank you for your continued support and interest in what I do here at Indiana Jones with the crazy stuff that I do. I don't even know what I'm doing until I'm doing it. I'm trying to remember if I had any other. Oh, you can put like moss in there too. I'll put some moss. Hocus Pocus is my favorite movie ever. Me too. Ah, but who lit the black flame candle? <laughs> anyway, oh, I'm going to make a Hocus Pocus wreath, hopefully for next weekend. So if you're a Hocus Pocus lover like me, I made this beautiful, I'm going to show you the... I'm going to show you the Nevermore wreath that I tried to record and I couldn't. Hold on. Because I love Edgar Allan Poe. So I made this beautiful wreath and I don't have a video of me making it. Because it is just a mess to make. You see it? How pretty? And it says Nevermore. It's got a raven. And it's got a raven. And a crystal ball. So I'm going to make something similar. And this is using a hula hoop from the Dollar Tree. This I made myself from some pages. I love using old pages as you notice. And um, isn't this beautiful? So imagine this in a Hocus Pocus theme. So cute. I know. So I'm going to do the same thing, but with a Hocus Pocus theme. I think you guys will like it. But I couldn't find hula hoops. So I have to make my own hula hoop, believe it or not. So let me put this back. Um, let me just lean this over here. So I will be making a Hocus Pocus wreath very similar to that very soon. Love you guys. Take care. Thank you so much for watching. Yay! And please share, like, subscribe, hit the little bell. Let's see if I can get up to 2,000. And somebody's coming in the door right now. Hey, I'm recording. We're almost done. Come here, say hi. Come say hi. Yes. Yeah, like that. It's my brother. They're wondering where we're having dinner. I told Luke to call you. <laughs> say hi. Hi. <laughs> That's my brother, Manny. So we were making... We're making a miniature. Oh, that's cool. Isn't that cool? Nice. All right, so we're done. Thanks, guys. Take care. <laughs> Gotta go to dinner. Bye. <laughs>